Today, I will discuss to you the square of proposition. So before I proceed to the square of proposition, so let's have first define or understand what is proposition. So after recognizing judgment as an act of the mind, it is necessary to know its expression. And proposition is the material expression of what resides as a mental judgment in the mind. And propositions are expressed in sentences. But not all sentences are propositions because not all sentences ga contain og judgments. Since not all sentences contain judgment, then not all sentences are propositions. So, mo ingon ra nga, it's a proposition once ang usaka sentence ga express og judgments. Okay? Propositions differ in terms of quantity, quality, or both quantity and quality of the proposition. And propositions that are different to one another are called opposition of propositions. And there are four kinds of opposition, so we'll discuss that later. This is the traditional square of proposition. So, as you can see, we have A, E, and I, I and O propositions. And we have the four kinds of opposition. We have the contraries, contradictory, subcontraries, and both sides of the square. We have the subalterns or subalternation. The next is, why is it that instead of A, B, C, D, no, ang label sa square, A, E, I, and O, ang gibutang. So, first we have A and I proposition. So, A and I proposition is from the word affirmo, from the Latin word affirmo meaning to affirm. So, affirmative ang iyahanga proposition. E and O, E and O, is from the Latin word nego, meaning to deny or to negate. That is why A, E, I, and O ang label sa square. Okay. So, there are... Uh, let's proceed to the quantity and quality of the proposition. So, ang atong square or atong kinds of proposition, say A, E, I, and O, with corresponding quantity and quality ang iyahang a judgment. Okay. A. A is universal affirmative. If we're talking about universal affirmative, meaning the idea of a proposition is pangkalahatan with ni affirm ka, meaning ni dawat ka, no walay negation nga nahitabo. Why? Because if there is negation in a proposition and then it's universal, di na siya a. E na siya. E proposition is universal negative. I. I proposition is particular affirmative. Part of the whole. Si I o si O. Particular portion of the universal lang si I and O. But, ga differ si I o si O in terms of quality because I is affirmative and O is negative. Always remember that not all or 
pili tanan sa atong judgments, universal lang. May portion na dira nga true, may portion nga false. That is why ga exist C, I, and O or particular proposition. Example, A proposition. So, A. Again, A is universal affirmative. All men are black. So, no negation. The idea is universal. No? All men are black. So, that's universal affirmative. So, according to E, no man is black. How come, ma'am, nga universal niya? No man is black. Meaning, negative ang idea, but it's a whole. No man. Meaning, whole. Ang idea is whole, negative. Universal, negative. Si E. Ma'am, pwede ma'am wala si no. Sa first. Yes. Example. All men are not black. So, still, it's E proposition. I, some men are black. So, according to A, all men are black. But according to I, some men are black. According to O na po, some men are not black. Kani nga man si E, no man is black. But, Always remember, ninyo ko niyo, may portion. No? Naadyo na si particular negative. Some men are not luck. So, let's proceed now to the kinds of opposition. We have contradictories at the center, contraries at the top, subcontrary, uh, subalterns or subalternations, both sides of the square. And at the bottom, we have the sub-country. First, let, let's discuss about contradictories. No? Contradictories exist siya between A and O proposition, vice versa, and E and I proposition, vice versa. So, it's a logical opposition between two propositions having the same subject. The same predicate terms but differ in quantity and quality. Because A is universal, O is particular. A is affirmative and O is negative. Same with E and I, vice versa. E is negative, I is affirmative, I is particular. And A is universal. So, different in terms of quantity and quality. Example. A. All parents are responsible. Universal affirmative. But according to O, some parents are not responsible. Some and not. Particular si some, parents, not responsible, negation. I, some parents are responsible. According to E, no parent is responsible. So, the ideas between A and O proposition, E and I proposition nag contradict sila to one another from the word contradictory. Next is contrary. It's a logical opposition between two propositions having the same subject, the same predicate term, same universal in quantity, but differ in quality. So at the top of the square, same 
in quantity because they are both universal. They differ in quality because A is affirmative while A is negative. Number two is, an uh, example for number two is, A, every mistake is easily corrected. While according to E, no mistake is easily corrected. Corrected. Again, they are both universal, but they differ in terms of quality because A is affirmative while A is negative. Let's proceed now to subalterns or subalternations. It's a logical opposition between two propositions having the same subject, the same predicate terms, the same in quality, but they differ in quantity. Because A and I are both affirmative. A is, in terms of quantity, A is universal. I is particular. How about E and O propositions? E is negative. Same with O. O is also negative. But they differ in terms of quantity. Why? Because A is universal and O is particular. Example for subalternations or subalterns. I let's proceed first to I and A propositions. Certain men are geniuses. So I certain men. Uh, certain men lang. Dilitanan. So that is particular affirmative. O a A I mean A all men are geniuses. So, si E, no man is genius according to E proposition. But according to O, some men are not geniuses. Okay. Subcontrary. So, subcontrary, it's a logical opposition existing between two propositions having the same subject, the same predicate terms. They are the same particular in quantity because I and O, again, they are both particular but they differ in quality because O is negative. I is affirmative. Example, according to O, many unjust killings are not wrong. According to I, many unjust killings are wrong. Okay? See the difference between O and I proposition? Okay? So, O, there is a negation here. No? And I okay. me affirm here. Uh, in summary of the four kinds of Opposition. First, we have the contradictories. Contradictories, A is opposite to O and vice versa in terms of quality and quantity. The same with E and I. So, A is universal, affirmative. O is particular, negative. A is universal, negative. I is particular affirmative. Contraries is opposite. A is opposite with E in terms of quality. Because A is affirmative, E is negative. They are both universal in quantity. Number three, we have the subalterns. A is opposite to I in terms of quantity, the same with E and O. 
because A is universal and I is particular, but they are both affirmative. So while E is universal and O is particular and they are both negative. Number four is subcontraries. Subcontraries, I is opposite to O in terms of quality. So they are both particular but differ sila in terms of quality because I is affirmative and O is negative. So this is the reference. So part 2 of the video will I will tackle about the loss of logical opposition, the truth and falsity of each proposition. So, thank you very much for watching. And please do understand that I am not a pro in terms of editing videos and uh, doing this new normal thing. So please uh, subscribe Eden Grace Villaferte for more videos and I hope nga uh, you are enlightened with the quality and quantity of the square of proposition. Thank you very much and God bless us all.